The Account Profile page brings you all of the information you have about your customers into one convenient location. There's no need to go to all disparate sources to find what you're looking for. Let's take a look at an Account Profile page in Tatango. I'm going to search for the name of the account that I'd like to look at in the search bar above. The Account Profile page will bring in all of the data we have on the customer. You'll see at the top that we have the name of the account as well as the account type. Here I have key information on the account. As an administrator, you have the ability to adjust the account profile view in many ways. First, I can edit the header by clicking on the settings cogwheel and adjusting the attributes I've chosen to display. The status widget shows me the most recent activity on each success flow I've chosen to display, again adjustable by that cogwheel. The health widget shows me the current health state as well as the history, which I can look back on, and I can see what criteria have been fulfilled to achieve that health score for the customer. The value metrics widget shows me the most relevant KPIs and metrics for my customers. As a note, in your trial instance, you've uploaded one file, which is a single point in time, so you won't see a change in your value metrics until you add more data. You can also see a user's leaderboard as well as a usage leaderboard so you can see what your customers are doing in your products. You can also add additional widgets to the account profile page, including support, about the company, voice of customer, and more. On the right, you'll see that they are the open tasks on the account profile. These are all of the tasks and work to be done for this particular account. You can see the account timeline. This is where all of the touch points we've logged with our customers and the engagements we've recorded will show. This is really helpful for a historical perspective for you and the rest of your team. The account assignment widget shows me who on my team is going to play what role when we work together for this customer. The contact widgets allows me to keep track of who at the customer is my key contact. We can also store assets for this customer. So say you've customized an onboarding kickoff deck or a QBR or anything else, you can store that in the assets section so that you and the rest of your team have it easily accessible. You can do so by uploading a file from many different sources. Keep in mind too that again you have your quick actions icon where you can quickly add a touch point, add a task, add an asset, run a success play from your library of best practices, or use a rapid insights form to request information. Now that you're familiar with how to use the account profile and the rest of Tatango to find everything you need for your customers, it's time to invite your team. We'll cover inviting your team to join your trial experience in our next video.